What's up everybody? It's your boy Charles McMurray. Um, I guess I'll start off by saying um, I'm a Christian. I strive to be a Christian. Am I perfect? No. Am I close? No. <laughs> Do I fall? Yes, a lot. Um, there's a lot of areas in which I fall short and I think we all fall short, you know? And we just, it's just part of our journey, it's just part of our story and we should embrace those things, you know what I'm saying? Now here, right here I have a list of characteristics in which I've bumped into in my Christian walk. I can't lie and say that some of these ain't me. They are, some of them are. So I'm making fun of all of us. <clears throat> but I try. In 2017, I'ma try not to be one of those Christians. And I want y'all to do the same. Do not become one of those Christians. What do you think I mean by those Christians? I'll give you a list. Don't be one of those Christians that has a gift and it pretty much defines you and your relationship with God. Like if you can't prophesy, suddenly you're not saved or you're not who you are. You're more than just your gift. Or one of them Christians that love quoting pastors all the time in songs on Facebook. Like, do you have a quiet time with God? Does he say anything to you? Like, how come everything he reveals to you is in the form of something you done seen on YouTube or heard at church? Um, <clears throat> don't be one of those Christians that go to church every single day and then mad that you can't find somebody. Like, First of all, ladies, the Bible says he who findeth a wife, findeth a good thing. Now, you might have the wife part down pat, but you're in no position to be found. Sorry. <laughs> Yo, um, don't be one of those Christians who are messy. Don't plan on changing, but you still rep God so hard. You're making us look so bad. Don't be one of them Christians that only go to church when you visit your parents or only go to Easter and Christmas service, you know, but y'all, y'all wait until this presidency kicked out. We're going to start seeing them Christians more. <laughs> Don't be one of them Christians who turn down your gospel music in your car to cut somebody out in traffic. Don't be one of them Christians that have to show everybody that they love God so much on every social media platform all the time. Don't be one of, don't fast from stuff that you shouldn't do anyway. Okay? Don't give up fornicating for Lent. You shouldn't fornicate, period. <laughs> um, don't be one of those Christians that mistake song lyrics for Bible verses. Read the Bible. <laughs> don't be one of those Christians that equates fashion with salvation. Just because I put on a blazer don't make me more saved than what I'm having on right now. <laughs> don't be one of those Christians that only go to church to hook up with other Christians. <laughs> don't be one of those Christians who only shout when their pastor is preaching. Or when you find out that your pastor is not preaching, you leave church or you don't come that Sunday. God is everywhere. Then the, <laughs> the indwelling of the Holy Spirit is in every Christian. So don't think it only lies with one man. That man is going to die as all men before has. None of them are God. None of them are beyond reproach. <laughs> don't be one of them Christians that only worship when you lead a song. Don't be one of them Christians who never tie because you don't carry cash to church. You know where you were going before you got there. And some of y'all, some of the churches have the ability to swipe your card, but you still won't do it because you just want to pay cash. Shame. Yo, don't be one of them Christians that put anointing oil on everything. I go to your house and there's grease spots all over the wall. Like, there's, there's your head all shiny. Y'all sit there, wash your hair, grease your scalp with anointing oil, cook chicken with anointing oil. Stop. Stop. It's symbolic. Symbolic. 
Don't be one of them Christians who say scripture extra loud when you know it by heart. Especially if it's one of those scriptures that everybody knows by heart. Like, we know you saved. Cut that pride down. <laughs> Don't be one of them Christians who practice your shout at home. <laughs> Don't be one of them Christians that be trying to call all your friends to see who having a church service when you're bored. <clears throat> Don't be one of them Christians that, are, that blame everything on the devil. Sometimes it's you. Sometimes it's just life. And sometimes it's God trying to tell you something. It just didn't go your way. <laughs> and don't be don't be one of these emotional Christians that's in the comments trolling me, talking about I ain't saved because I'm calling people out. <laughs> but at the same time, and I'll end with this, don't be one of them Christians who just love calling everybody out. I don't care if you are holier than thou and you're not guilty of any of those things. It's still annoying. So just stop. And it's a little hypocritical for me to say it since I just did this whole video. But I stand by it. Peace, love.